Hi, this is Alex. Let me help you to work out the OOBE problem. Yeah. So first, on your keyboard, on your physical keyboard, yeah. Uh, I'm using the on-screen keyboard. Uh, so press on Shift, hold it, then press on F10. Yeah. Then you can see the command prompt pop up. Now we type net user slash add. For example, I add a username John here yeah? and star. Star it is on the so hold shift key and press eight. Yeah, and the star key, I mean. So this command will create a user. My one is called John. Yeah. So I press enter. Then it asks me type a password. So I leave the password as blank. So I press enter straight away on the keyboard. Then it asks me to retype the password. So I press enter again. Yeah. So the John user is created. Then we have to make John as a administrator of the system. So now we type net local group administrator add John. Right? So it's success succeeded and uh, now you have to type you have to find out where is your windows drive letter of course this is the only example on my system yeah so basically your system should be installed on drive letter C yeah so basically, the, the command line you are you are on the draw letter should be uh, draw letter X, yeah. Basically, I mean, uh, you don't need to check also. Uh, also, I mean, basically, you can type this uh, command. So you type CD, say, basically it should be say, yeah. So uh, backward slash Windows system 32 OOBE then press enter yeah so now I'm in the OOBE folder okay so now what do you type OOBE okay Oh, sorry. Yeah, should type M S O O B E. Yeah. Then press enter. Uh, I won't press enter because my system is working perfect. Yeah. So once you press enter, the system will show you wait a moment. Yeah, some message. If you wait for more than 15 minutes you might need to cut, cut off your power but if you cut off the power double check your laptop or your desktop computer is the uh, hard drive lights is flashing or not i mean basically after 10-15 minutes if the system don't reboot uh, uh, and uh, if you didn't touch the keyboard or uh, mouse, I mean the touchpad on the laptop also, it should be, the hard drive shouldn't be running. The reason I'm, I'm talking about this, because if you cut off the power of a computer, it might damage your hard drive. I mean, it might not good for your hard drive. So you have to do this on your own risk. Yeah. 
uh, the computer, I got the uh, OOB problem on how to cut off the power because I wait about half an hour, nothing happens. So I double checked the hard drive lights is not flashing and also I gave it uh, more than uh, another five ten minutes and I didn't touch anything. Then I hold the power button, yeah, on your, uh, I mean, laptop or your desktop, hold the power button for five or six seconds, then the power should cut off, okay? I mean, if you have important data, don't do this. This might damage the hard drive. But, I mean, I should say 99% shouldn't be, but uh, you have to take your own risk, okay? Cut off the power, then restart the computer after a few minutes. Then the windows should be uh, running properly. Uh, when you uh, see the log on screen, you should say uh, two usernames. One is default user zero. Another user is the username you created. My one is called John. Uh, I mean, log in with your own password or uh, you typed without the password uh, I mentioned. Yeah. Good luck. Bye for now. If you like my video, uh, sum up or oh, subscribe. Thank you so much for your watching. Best luck to you.